My name is Victoria Borowski. I'm the president of the Ohio Rail Eye Museum. I was one of the people responsible for bringing number one here back home to us at the Ohio Rail Eye Museum. Number one was built in April of 1924 by the Vulcan Iron Works of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania for the Marble Cliff Quarry Company. Originally designed for a company called the Aero Sand Corporation, a subsidiary of Marble Cliff, eventually number one was kept at the Marble Cliff Quarries, mostly generally to believe as a shop pet. Essentially, the locomotive that was responsible for switching around the other locomotives at the shops. In 1954, Marble Cliff was only using their larger saddle tank locomotives, both Alco and Vulcan products. And had they noticed the fledgling Ohio Rail Museum at the time, they thought, hey, they've only got electric so far, let's see if they want a steam locomotive. And so number one was donated. Refurbished by the New York Central Railroad in their West Columbus shops, I believe. Number one came here fully operational and was the for a long time, sole operational steam locomotive in the state of Ohio, especially in preservation. Number one is most known for, in 1959, January, I believe, pulling the much larger Norfolk and Western number 578 and E2A type 462 Pacific onto the ORM property. It's very likely that number one is the sole reason that 578 was saved. The Norfolk and Western noticed the operation here at the ORM with number one and decided, hey, We've got those steam locomotives sitting in Bluefield. Let's see if they like one. Number one ran here until the late 1960s when it developed a crack in the firebox, which ultimately took its out of service life. It's estimated that for number one, we need a completely new boiler. Number one is also a very early type Vulcan, meaning it has no air compressor. It uh, functions solely off of steam jam brakes, which are not the best kind to use. So. For an operational restoration for number one, it is estimated to be for a whole new boiler with new appliances and even a slope back style tender, 650000 which hopefully we hope to do something like that. This is a Lonergan single chime whistle with a five inch diameter. Many of our whistles here at the Ohio Railway Museum actually come from eBay. This was another eBay find. Originally, it was hoped that number one would have a two-inch Lunkenheimer whistle, but that's just a little bit too small. So hopefully, eventually, we'd like to hook an air compressor up to number one, and hopefully someday our visitors will be able to come in and not only ring the bell, but also blow the whistle. Our museum is open every Sunday, 12 to 4 p.m. You can check out our website. You can also follow us, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The website is www.ohiorailingmuseum.org. Hope to see you in my next video.